run your time And I'm always getting home with the sun up I'm Daniel Ferrara, the leader of Coat Rap, and you are now in tune with Hip Hop DX. Stay locked in, boy. Liberate your mind. I would say, man, I was just like any other lost black man. You know, I became a product of my environment, and, and I kind of let that hold me back. And, uh, you know, I would say 25, 26. You know, I was like, man, I can't keep going to jail. I can't keep living like this. And, and, it, and it never felt comfortable anyway. You know, uh, I never been a soft guy, but I, I mean, it, a lot of the things that I did, it was because of the people that I was around in the environment that I chose to put myself in. A lot of the way that I lived, and that's how I got the criminal record that I got. You know, I was always a smart individual, I always loving, caring, but the things that I started to do, uh, I started to be influenced by others, and I wasn't being myself, man. So I would say around 25, 26, I was just like, man, what am I doing? You feel what I'm saying? How am I really living? And, and definitely 26, I had my sons, you know? And I was like, man, I, I, got, I have to live for more life. It's so much more to life than what I'm doing right now. You dig what I'm saying? I'm running from the cops, now I'm running the business. Taking laps in my pool with some beautiful women. Placing bets on myself, cause I know I'm winning. Hit the mall with my son, just to fuck up some benches. No regard for the money, cause I get it with inches. And this is the going down video shoot. Um. This is the song we're going to lead off with, my project, The Red Book. It's a feel-good song, man, but, you know, we still sprinkle that substance in there. So it's the carrot with the sugar on top. You dig what I'm saying? Sometimes we just we just get at people who love the vegetable, uh, the carrot. You dig what I'm saying? We don't got to put no type of cinnamon or sugar on it. And for the people who, they get it, but that ain't, you know, they like, I really don't want to hear music with substance in it like that all the time. It's like, how do we sneak that in there on them? So when they want to hear the, you know, the raw and uncut substance, and then when they want to hear the sugar coated, but with still substance, you dig what I'm saying? So that's how I managed to do that. This right here, like I say, is the sugar with, you know, the carrot with the sugar on top, man. So Red Book, I got the title because I would watch a lot of Black Panther documentaries and I would see that uh, they would be passing out these little red booklets. They had the breakfast program where they would give the children in the community free breakfast and also liberate their minds at the end of the day. And um, I was in Revolutionary Books in Harlem and I was watching the documentary there and uh, I seen the Red Book again. I asked one of the ladies, like, yo, what is this Red Book? Oh, she was like, it's the Red Book. Basically what it is is it's a blueprint as to how to revolutionize, how to start a revolution and and, and what a revolution even is, you know, gives you a better understanding of what that is. And so I just felt like the title was very fitting. Uh, the Red Book, this is a revolutionary body of music. I can't say that enough. This is the blueprint. You listen to this, it's almost like reading the Red Book, but you listening to it. It's the audio version of what the Red Book is. And, and, and you seeing it through my eyes, you know. So, you know, this is the liberate the masses, man, when they hear it. It's crazy. It's crazy. This Pablo Escobar, uh, one of his old spots. Nah, but I mean, shit, it looked like it.